Hello guys, Olga with you today. In this video I want to share my experience how Poland is treating Ukrainian refugees, Ukrainian people. Once you cross the border by car, by foot, by train, uh, on the moment where you will arrive you will feel uh, so much support from the Poland side. Now I'm in the Krakiv train station and I'm gonna check what is the reception point of Ukrainian refugees here. I came to supermarket and on the entrance there are people who is collecting actually food for Ukrainians who is coming. So I'm gonna buy now a couple of sausages, maybe some kind of pasta, we'll see maybe some sweets and let people who is coming have it. This is also people leaving all products for Ukrainians in the little shop. Also, Poland gives you option to get free SIM card as Ukrainian citizen, which will be valid for one month and it has something like 10 GB. So I just get my for free uh, from the play. This is their the most popular cell phone operator, all which is required, just uh, show your ID or passport. The good point also that even if you are not resident, if you are not citizen of uh, Ukraine, but you have residence, they also give you these cards. We came to the paid road and the sink is not really working and we wasn't able to understand why. And our card and they explained us that the people with Ukrainian number plates are not paying. Uh, so actually I guess Ukrainian refugees they really have full support. I don't know that somebody at all can face any problems that every uh, you literally feel that all the world supports you in any regard. And this point is actually uh, giving me a thought about uh, how the things is always happening. We already know in the world a lot of refugees from different countries and all these refugees in the moment when the war started and they moved to, the, to other countries as refugees, they were most welcome, people was feeling so much bad for them, they were supporting them and so on. And always with these refugees there is a lot of bad guys who is moving and just using the situation for their benefits and actually abusing all this uh, system and all this help and it leads to the things that uh, later people don't want to, to deal with any refugees they don't want to see them they fed up with them they consider that they are totally not thankful and such things is happening everywhere and this is what i'm afraid that actually there will be a lot of ukrainians who will be abusing the system me personally i don't know such cases that ukrainians were bad but i start noticing that some of our bloggers start talking that there are ukrainians who is complaining um, in all these neighboring countries poland hungary and romania that they don't like how they're treated that they sleep in some places which is cold that they don't have uh, 
food which they prefer and so other and ukrainians by themselves they are saying that if you notice in such refugees kick them out of your country let them go back to ukraine if they don't like something and that's all and i totally support it i consider that yes this is not acceptable because people really sharing everything what they can and it cannot be by any mean uh, uh, supporting that you know you you still have you still want to choose i like this apartment i don't like this go pay money and rent it from your own pocket and then you have full right to claim whatever you want and if you're getting it for free you need to be thankful that you get something at all also i notice uh, sometimes in uh, uh, social media appearing the things that uh, europe having double standards and uh, uh, they have have some way how they deal with refugees and for ukrainians they are breaking all of their kind of like restrictions uh, they are welcoming they give them everything what they never give to any other refugees and um, for me I'm, I'm not sure really uh, what to answer on this regard uh, is it uh, somehow this is right i can agree that yes europe is not dealing with ukrainian refugees in the same way that like they used to deal with others but um, my point what i was thinking and we were discussing it a bit in our family that uh, first of all ukrainians they have visa free to europe at all and we are not new people who came here and they uh, we never been in europe before so there is ukrainians coming here and they're for very long time and there is so many ukrainians who is working in europe since 20 years and there is the full generations grown up with their parents working in europe and they used to go also here and there and i'm thinking that uh, first europeans somehow they know more what to expect from us they know that most of people who is coming now now uh, they will be working uh, they will go to work on the farms on the plants on the any kind of jobs there is some people who who will be able to run business even here and make uh, employ other locals people so it can be so many different options but they i guess europe understand that most of ukrainian people who are moving now they will not be asking for help they will not be asking for financial help from the government and the, it will not be big load on the government from these refugees and I was thinking that, for example, me now, I'm not staying here like kind of refugee, so I'm renting an apartment from my pocket, I'm going to buy food from my pocket, I'm uh, paying for the gas in the gas stations from my pocket. Yes, even the toll is free, um, maybe I don't pay for parking somewhere, but still I'm actually contributing to the economy of this country by paying and buying a lot of things. And so we'll do a lot of other people and even if they will come and they will work they will still spend money on this country so i guess uh, they are realizing this somehow and that's why um, they are fine for now to deal with ukrainians in this way and again this is for now we don't know how will be the things in uh, six months in a couple of weeks in a couple of months maybe they will also start saying same bad words about ukrainian refugees like they say about any other nations we don't know we will see but i really hope that ukrainians will not abuse all this kind uh, help which is coming from European countries.